Hello, and welcome to this video on bytes. Now, I know you've heard all these terms that have bytes in them. Megabytes, gigabytes, kilobytes, terabytes. Maybe you've even heard of bits. Well, we're going to go over those in this video. I'll try to give you some idea of what they are. So if you should see them or hear the word, you might actually have a clue about it. I don't expect you to be an expert, but this should help you some. So what are we talking about? Well, bytes are a unit of measuring data. What is a byte? Well, before we get into that, we need to know what a bit is. A bit is a basic unit of digital information represented by a one, which is the on mode, or a zero, which is off. Now, I'm not really going to go into what the on and off is and what the one and zeros are about, but you just need to know that's how the computers talk to each other. Okay, so a byte is a unit of measuring data that usually consists of eight bits. So if there's eight ones and zeros, that's a byte. All right, so this is how information is stored and transmitted on computers and over networks. And a quick example of what would be a byte long is a character. So like the letter V is one byte long to a computer for the computer to be able to give you the letter V or any letter or any character on your screen, it's it takes a byte of information. Now, to kind of get you the idea to grasp how big some of these things are that we're going to talk about, instead of working entirely in bytes, although we will be, I'm going to make a byte one dollar instead. That way you can see how big some of these terms would be. Okay? just so you can get the idea of the sheer size. Before we move ahead though, we need to cover some ambiguity. Although we will show these units as exact multiples of 10, it is actually a little bit different in many cases. For example, I'll go over a kilobyte and I'll tell you it's 1000 bytes. However, in many cases, it's actually 1024 bytes. Now I'm not trying to confuse you, so I'm going to stick with 1000 bytes. It's close enough and it's a much, much easier, easier for you to learn it this way. So I'm just telling you this so you know it's not exactly right, but it's close enough. So similar ambiguous numbers exist for other terms in this section. We're going to keep it simple and use multiples of 10 because they're close enough. Numbers and figures in the following slides will be approximate, okay? So not just the bytes, but every number and figure in here will be approximate. So moving ahead, first one on the list is a kilobyte. So first thing to note is it's a kilobyte, not a kilobit. Okay, so a kilobyte is 1,000 bytes. So you can say that would be 1,000 characters. It's approximately, you know, one one thousandth of a megabyte and then two or three paragraphs of text. So if a byte was $1, then a kilobyte would be $1,000. Okay, so let's move ahead a little bit. So after kilobytes, we have the next larger one, which is megabytes. Now this is also termed megs. You might hear it called, oh, I have X number of megs, or this program is so many megs big. They're talking about megabytes. So a megabyte is 1,000 kilobytes, all right, or a million bytes, all right, one one thousandth of a gigabyte, and we're talking at about 900 pages of plain text, five books, ebooks, that is. And if a byte is about one dollar, then a megabyte would be about a million a million dollars, a million bucks. So we're already getting pretty large here, as you can see. So let's get moving on here. After the megabyte, we have the gigabyte, which is a term gigs. My hard drive is 500 gigs. That means their hard drive is 500 gigabytes. So it would be 1000 megabytes, 1 million kilobytes, and 1 billion bytes. Remember these are approximately, and approximately 1 1 thousandth of a terabyte. And you have all kinds of things here on how much space these things would take. 
And if a byte were one dollar, then a gigabyte would be a billion dollars. Okay. Terabyte. So a terabyte, now we're getting pretty big, and we're going to stop after this one because it's pretty high up there. It's a thousand gigabytes, a million megabytes, and a trillion bytes. Yes, I went ahead and skipped kilobytes. So it's approximately one one thousandth of a petabyte. And here's all your information, how much of things you can fit into that kind of space. So if a byte is one dollar, then a terabyte would be one trillion dollars. All right, I hope that kind of puts it into context. I know we went over it really quickly, but if you just start from the first slide, the bytes that we started at, each one is just an increment up. So you multiply it by a thousand. So um, a kilobyte is a thousand more than a byte. A megabyte is a thousand more than a kilobyte. Gigabytes a thousand more than a megabyte. Terabytes a thousand more than a gigabyte. So it's just basic incrementation and you can kind of see it gets really, really big after a while. So I hope this helps you understand something next time you're walking through a store and you see a hard drive or a computer part that says, oh, I'm 128 gigabytes in size. Well, you kind of have an idea of what that means. I know it doesn't mean too much until you actually use it, but you know, also if you go to a store and you see that there's a another device that has one terabyte, well, you're going to know that's still a lot bigger than 128 gigabytes. So anyway, I hope this helps. Make sure you re-watch this video if you are confused. I know it's got a little bit of math, but it's really simple math, even though I've got tons of numbers up there. Those numbers, just keep in mind, are, are ideas of how much of something you can put into that space. It's not for you to add or multiply or anything. Okay, they're just examples. The only real math here is that, again, a kilobyte's a thousand more than a byte. A megabyte's a thousand more than a kilobyte, and etc. That's the most math there is here, really. All right? And watch the video again, or take notes if you need to.